I'm Jesse Bacon, Superintendent of Bullock County Public Schools, and thank you for watching this week's edition of the BCPSB. Today, I'm at Bowman's Valley Schoolhouse. Many of you know that this schoolhouse has been moved from its original location and placed next to the central office building, and is in the process of being restored. Joining me today is Gwen Hahn, a member of the Bowman's Valley Committee. Gwen, thank you for taking the time to be with us today, and if you can, talk to us a little bit about the Bowman Valley School and the history of the schoolhouse. Thank you. Well, thank you for being such an enthusiastic supporter of, of our project. Uh, number one, uh, this has been an ongoing project since uh, 2011, really, when Tammy Ott, who is our chairperson, drove by the kind of dilapidated building out on Cooper's Run, about three miles away, and she just thought, well, we, we have to do something and not let this historic building be demolished. So fast forward to October of 2014, and we moved the building in the middle of the night from that location here beside the Board of Education. And of course, as you know, the building is now owned by the, the Board of Education. And uh, fortunately, we have had the enthusiastic support of the board from day one in, the, in this project. Uh, raising funds has been somewhat of an issue for us, a challenge, I should say. But now we are so happy that we're standing in an air-conditioned building. We are actually on the traditional side of the classroom. Students come in to visit, or the public come in to visit, they'll see this side of the traditional room, and then they can go to the other side and participate in interactive technology, uh, which where they can learn about uh, the students who went to, to school here. Uh, we're fortunate to have on our committee actually some of the alumni from Bowman's Valley, Charles and Darlene Ayers, uh, Betty Hecknott, and Mary Hickman, all were students uh, at Bowman's Valley. So they are thrilled to see what's happened with our building. I uh, asked about the history. The school was built in 1916 for a cost of about $300. And um, it was, of course, managed by the Board of Education. Uh, but at that time, their supplies of all were not equal to that of students in the rest of the county. But they, they did well. They had wonderful instructors, and uh, one of them came on to teach at Roby Elementary. And um, so the, the school closed in 1957 with the end of segregation. And at that time, most students had to, well, on their own, if, if they were able to further their education, they had to be transported to Bardstown or to the Lincoln Institute, to Shelbyville. Uh, they, they were on their own, of course, at that point in time. But anyway, we're thrilled to be where we are today and to have this building almost ready to dedicate, which we're hoping to do in the spring. Well, it's certainly a magnificent looking facility um, from its origination in, in the time that they moved here. Talk a little bit about the restoration process and what the goals are of the committee for the use of this space. Okay, uh, that's the exciting part. Uh, we said from day one we did not want this just to be a structure that people would just look at from the outside. And I think, you know, the facade is, is pretty much what it was back in, in the 40s and 50s. Uh, we're in the process of painting and so forth now. But if you come inside, you'll get a chance to take a little trip back in time to uh, to the school and the way it existed with the wooden desk, the chalk or chalkboard, the, the bell, the water bucket, and of course uh, there was no inside plumbing, so there was a, a privy. We have not extended our renovation to the privy. But um, when students come in, and hopefully we'll have regular visitors from the school, this school system and other school systems, uh, they'll have a chance to go in on the uh, high-tech side, I call it, and they can listen to the voices of past students who tell about what it was like to have been a student at Bowman's Valley, what it was like to stoke up the old stove in the morning uh, for, for uh, heat, uh, going to the outside bathroom, and so on and so forth. So uh, while we have the traditional side, certainly we are, we are current with technology and, and I, I have to thank all of the wonderful people here at the central office, uh, the superintendent <laughs> of Dan 
who have supported our efforts to, to put together a, a package so that we can make it very convenient for teachers to bring up the classroom their students in to, to learn really what it was like to attend um, an all black school during the era of segregation. Talk about, if you could, I know there's folks in the community who might be interested in getting involved in this project. How can they do that and who do they need to contact? Okay. Of course, everyone knows Tammy Ott, our chairperson, and you can always reach Tammy through her, her business at, at uh, Today's Kids. Uh, but also, if you want to mail a donation, which would be much appreciated, you can send it to Daniel Buxton, that's B-U-X-T-O-N, at the Bullock County History Museum on Buckman Street in Shepherdsville. And just note that it's for the Bones Valley Project and then we'll, we'll get it into our treasurer's hands. Thank you so much. The Bowman's Valley Schoolhouse is an important part of our history and heritage here at BCPS. I invite each of you to come and check out the restoration process and the community's transformation as the community transforms this old building into the museum and education center that we can all be proud of. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of the BCPSB. I hope you'll join us next time as we talk more about how BCPS is moving forward.